guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2017 San Diego Comic Con, and I'm here with Eric Treadaway at the Four Horsemen Design booth. How's it going, buddy? It's going great. It's going great? Yeah. Well, you got some new stuff on display. You got Mythic Legions. You got Power Lords coming back. So why don't we start there? Why don't we talk about the Power Lords a little bit? Let's do it. All right, cool. <laughs> so it's coming back. You guys had started this before, um, and now you got some new stuff on display here. So why don't you go and start by kind of telling us how you guys are approaching this? Okay. Uh, well, we had we had a strong start with Power Lords back when we first released it, um, and had about a year's worth of releases on the figures. And basically, we got to the point where we hit a wall with production costs, and it really just wasn't feasible to move forward at that point. Um, but as time has gone on and we've made other factory connections and started working on Mythic Legions, uh, we're in a better spot finally where we think that we can come back with the line and continue what we started because we, we love the, the line, we love the character designs, and you know we want to finish what we started and, and give people a complete collection of these figures. Totally. So are you planning to kind of continue with like the 4-inch scale like you did before? Absolutely. It, it's something we, we went back and forth with because we have had several requests for 6-inch. And obviously, uh, you know, the bulk of our business is at 6-inch scale. But ultimately, we decided that you know, a lot of people have put a lot of money and passion into the line. And we didn't want to betray all of, you know, what, what had come before. Right. So. Uh, you know, six inches is something we could maybe look at down the future if this is successful. Okay. But, um, you know, we, we, we started something and we really wanted to finish it and we get a full set of characters in the same scale rather than starting over from scratch gotcha. again. That makes sense. Totally. So are you guys going to maintain the, like, the Glios interchangeable parts with them like they had before? Most likely not. We're not 100% sure. Um, I, I still talk to Matt constantly, and, and he's it's available if we want to use it. Um, I, but I, th I think that just through our experience with this line, I don't know that it's necessarily what the driving factor for fans of the line was. I, I think they love the character designs and kind of the, the cool 80s weird nostalgia of yeah, it. Totally. Um, and it's it's a line where the the character designs are so diverse in size and scale and uh, the sizes of, of shoulder joints and hip joints and all that. It's not the greatest line for interchangeability. So so more than likely not. But but we may um, I'm the ones that that we might look into having some compatibility are on the um, the power soldier figures. Okay. Uh, just so that there may be some interchangeability with the existing figures, but um, that's something that we still have a little bit of, of looking into to do. Okay, great. And what's your plans for rolling these out for sale? Are you going to do like a pre-order system kind of like with uh, Mythic Legions? Yes, okay. yes. That's one of the things that uh, we want to do differently, very differently than we did the first time. The first time we were doing two figures at a time. and. Right trickling it out and trickling it out and ultimately I think that was frustrating for a lot of people because it, it was the pace of the line was moving very slowly gotcha. um, and so what we want to do here is more of the mythic legions approach uh, we're not going to go through Kickstarter but it is going to be somewhat of a Kickstarter type sale in that we we will have a number that we need to hit with this line okay. and so we will set the pre-order if we don't hit it we're not going to move forward uh it's a very i think it's a very attainable number uh especially based on the number of figures that we're going to roll out in the initial assortment okay. uh, I, th I think the initial assortment's going to be uh i believe it's 17 potential figures uh, but the idea is with this by getting disguise or side -Ot and Raygoth in this first, well, that's actually the second assortment, but this first new assortment, um, that combined with the first two figures, you're halfway through right. the initial line. And then we can finish that initial lineup in one more pre-order, maybe two if, if we do two smaller pre-orders. But the idea is that, you know, after such a long hiatus, we want people to know that we're serious about this, we want to complete it, so we can do it in a 
two or three pre-orders and make sure that everybody gets a complete lineup. And that's that's why we went ahead and brought out the Arcus as a preview for Series Three, because just you know we're already we're already you know moving into the next thing on this. Okay. Great, awesome. Well, it's really exciting stuff seeing Power Lords coming back. Um, so very much looking forward to that. But of course, you guys are already really like cranking through the Mythic Legions line. It seems like you guys have had a lot of success with that. Um, you have a new pre-order that just started right now during the show, right? Yes, uh, Mythic Legions Coliseum. And uh, yeah, we've been teasing figures for the past uh, couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pre-order went up uh, last night to coincide with preview night and uh that's going to be up for about a month okay and um, so far we're off to a good start people seem excited about it uh we've got uh an assortment of the six inch scale figures and then we've got a new troll scale figure which is our cyclops um so we're we're excited about it Very cool. and yeah. and we're I, I we're excited about it I, just because it's cool wave but also kind of in the same going back to what we, you know, the issues that we had with Power Lords in the past, the uh, the Kickstarter wave, which ended in March, because that involves new tooling and it's so many figures, that's a at least a you know a year from when the Kickstarter ended. I I don't remember what the the date that we had in the Kickstarter was, but it was March or April of next year. So the idea with this is also so that we can keep some product coming out and keep. You know, make sure that people are getting the Mythic Legions fix. Totally, yeah. And man, I gotta tell you, that Cyclops is incredible. Like seeing it in person here. I mean, I love the color choices and everything, but he is just—he is an amazing figure. We're pretty fond of him yeah. ourselves. I mean, it's—it's it's a giant Cyclops. Yeah. It's just—it's. I mean, how could you not love it, right? <laughs> I mean, it's—it's. It's, I think everybody that's into this type of stuff probably saw a Cyclops they loved as a kid. Yeah. So. There, there's a giant Cyclops for you. That's awesome. So talking about the giant figures, you guys are introducing a new scale that's sort of in between the big troll size and the normal, like, six-inch guys. Yes, that's – at least that, for right now, we're call, calling it our ogre scale. Nice. Um, and mainly because at least my agenda is to get an ogre into the line. Um, so uh, ogre scale is at least what it is for now. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be – uh, they're going to be nine-inch tall figures, um, so they are very much right, kind of living in that space in between the regular figures and the trolls. And um, yeah, I mean, we're very excited about them. There's a lot of detail on them. Um, we're much like the any of the figures that we're doing. There'll be multiple heads, multiple releases as time goes on. Um, and so there's a lot of characters that we want to do at this this larger scale. So this opens up a lot of opportunities for us. And it's um, it, it what we've always been about as far as the the type of lines that we like to do is we like a lot of diversity in the characters, and you know that that involves different races of characters, different cultures of you know whether they're elvish or they're you know more savage barbarians or what have you and one of the big things that we've always been interested in is is having you know little figures wide figures tall figures and it's just a, another step closer to getting that full range of of diverse looking characters in the lineup absolutely so do you guys know how you're going to be offering those yet for sale um i it should be a pre-order uh, similar to when we released the trolls. Okay. Um, we still got some pricing to do and things like that, but um, we're hoping to maybe release two at a time, maybe three max. We're, one of the things in general that we're trying to do with the line is the, especially after the advent of decay, the Kickstarter wave was as massive as it was. We're trying to keep things a little more steadily paced as we go along. Okay. Um, just to give people's wallets a break and uh, just so people can get the figures and enjoy them for a while before the next group comes in or you know it's it's not too just overwhelming when you get all these figures at once totally yeah i totally understand that awesome man you guys got so many cool things over here on display um was there anything else that we missed or did we cover all the new stuff in there i think that's it i, I think that is it. Well, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Um, I'm, I'm loving the line. It looks like everybody else is 
really loving it. So congratulations on the success of this line too. I think that's wonderful. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I mean, we're we're having a blast with it. It's a it's a dream line for us. So yeah. the fact that people are responding well, I mean, it couldn't be happier. Awesome. Well, Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through the display here. And there you guys go. A look at what Four Horsemen Design has going on right here at the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2017. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter, or you can subscribe for more videos on forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com.